So guys, <laughs> when you are here for the first hand experience, like this. <laughs> just arrived and they are just tying the mouth so it doesn't bite anyone. Wow. You just got. You just got. You just got. How na day? You did fine. I'm so excited because today I'm going to be giving you a video that most of you requested. African tigress. You need to check out bush meat in Nigeria. So I'm at the bush market today and I'm being joined by some amazing Nigerian YouTuber. What's up? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Mira? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Have you tried bush meat before? Of course. Sure. I'm in Nigeria and I have several times. Hey, okay, so uh, where are we? Let us tell us a little bit about the bush meat and is okay. it everybody in Nigeria taking it? Yeah, almost everybody in Nigeria takes bush, bush meat. Anyways, guys, we are at Oluo Fish Market. This is supposed to be Ekbe Terrestrial and Aquatic Hub, but you can also find other bush meat that are not terrestrial or aquatic here. So today here, we are going to have a first-hand experience of the bush meat here in Nigeria and I hope you can't wait to see that right I can't wait to see that but uh, eating we'll find out we'll see you would have to eat that's why we are here guys she she's going to have a first-hand experience and we are going to look for where these bush meats are going to be prepared and she would have a taste of it of course that's why we're here oh, we'll find out we'll find out so okay let's go in okay Oh, well, so we came to the market a bit early. Remember, we left the house at about 5.30 in the morning so as to beat Lagos traffic because this place is in the outskirts of Lagos. Uh, I'm told an administrative unit of Lagos. So I'm taking this time to just show you around. As you can see, that is the Atlantic Ocean and there are people working on the boat behind me. And then if you can see towards that side, that's, that's to the market on that side yeah if you can see that's the market so i'll just show you around a little bit and then i'll take you into the market once it opens so come with me so guys this is where the live cows are being kept like i told you we are very very early we left the house very early so this is 8 30. we have just one live cow here i guess by 10 11 12 others will come so i'm just gonna like take you through the process so this is where they are kept and this is where they are being fed as you can see, uh -huh. there is <laughs> food and water. And then, <laughs> come, come, come. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Okay, hello, ma. Good morning. So what is your role in the, what's your role in this market? My role in this market, I'm one of the committee. I'm the youth mother of this market. And I'm selling fish. <laughs> so what, like, uh, as a youth mother, what, what do you do as a youth mother? I'm the leader of the youth. I'm controlling them, giving them advice. They are doing good in the markets because this time now is for youth. Uh -huh. uh -huh. For this town now, we are in youth time. They are doing good thing. And they are going out on Thursday to do the environment, environment of this market, to do anything what the elder can, can do. That's it. Okay, okay, it's nice meeting you, ma. Yeah, thank you very much. So guys, as you can see, this is a live alligator, right? And it is alive. That is why the mouth is stout. I don't know, it looks like it's, look, it's angry, is it? Yeah, it's not angry. And can we touch it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, is that why no, the hands and the legs are tired? Okay, the, the skin looks tough. <laughs> and why are you touching my hand? Touch it. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Yes. Like seriously? Yes. Wow. African tiger, touch it. Touch it, no. touch this it, is what you are here for. Touch it. Okay, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There are a lot of things. Oh, ah, Jesus. What's that? This one is Amadine. Wow. No, you are doing. So that's a bush meat over there. These ones are actually killed. 
What is this one called? The one that is slaughtered, what is it called? Is that grass cutter? The one that is slaughtered is called the grass cutter. This one that is circled, what is it called? This one is pangolin. Pangolin. Wow. Okay, so what is that one called? <laughs> wow, woo, what is that one called? Monitor lizard. Huh? What is this one called? Monitor lizard. And people eat this too? People eat this too? Yes. Wow. And what is this one? This is tortoise. Yeah, yeah, it's tortoise. And it's been eating. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Auntie, why are you not vlogging now? This one is antelope, porcupine. Grass cutter and the deer and the pangolin. Antelope, grass cutter. Yeah. What do you call this? Porcupine. 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 Deer. 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 And Diego. pangolin. Oh, this is. I prefer this special. one. Oh, this one. Yeah, porcupine. the porcupine is very sweet more than grass cutter. Wow. Yeah, yeah. How, how much is this sold for? This one, like, if you have the big one, now, big one is eight thousand. Small like this, one thousand five. So that motorbike just delivered some more bush meat. Another motorbike is getting in with some more bush meat. Bush meat. Bu is that a monkey? What? I've seen a monkey. Is that a monkey? Yeah, Do you know that one very well? No. This one is monkey. So this is called what? Jiminakus. Yeah, Jiminakus. Is this sweet? Yes. Yeah, it's very sweet. Very sweet. Sweeter than tea. How much is this now? 40,000. What? 40,000. And people buy it. And eat so that is 40,000 Naira. 40,000 Naira is about $100. 90 something dollars. Almost $100 for that fish. Which one is cat? Oh, so this is catfish. They don't. Oh, small gymnacus. That's the small gymnacus, like the big one that we saw on that side. So that's the baby. So when it's dried, this is what it looks like. African tigers. This dry fish here, we call them Mangala, Mangala. or Azwokbo. Uh -huh. In Igbo, they call them Azwokbo. So they are actually, you know, fish that they got from the water, from the river, wherever, and mm -hmm. then they dry it up. Uh -huh. So going forward, you will see the process. So this is how it's being dried. As you can see, this is a firewood. Uh -huh. So they put on this firewood and they put the fishes. But they would like wash it, remove all the things they want to remove and put it there. Uh -huh. And then they smoke it and they uh -huh. make, make it dry. So this is the smoking process? Yes. Okay. After this, it, it, it turns to be the first... Um, after the smoking process, it becomes hard and it becomes uh -huh. dry. That's what we call it. Inibo. Okbo means dry. Uh -huh. So we call it as Okbo. Uh -huh. The same process is going on here, uh -huh. as you can see. Why do they put the stick? They put the stick to hold it. The fishes are straight, so they curve it and put it together and put the, uh, the stick for it to be round. Okay. Some people call it round smoke fish and all. Okay. And as you can see, these ones down here are catfish. Yeah. They are still like washing them and keep putting them in water. I think they just brought them from the river. Yeah. And basically, that is what it is. Wow, this is incredible. <sighs> an experience for me something i've never seen and of course i'm loving it because it's something i've never seen yeah and you can see there's some friend of us on that roof i don't know if you can see that he's run away <laughs> Agama, do they eat that too some people do they eat that lizard i'm not sure but i think some people do. okay agama lizard she says there is another agama lizard let me show you 
Can you see on that wall? Another Agama lizard. Who is it? Yes, that's another lizard. She says that they eat. Some people eat. So some vendors actually buy fish from the market and other food and then they will come and cook it. So today we have the very beautiful, what's your name? My name is Bedo. Alright, so what do you do here? We are cooking food, selling it here. And where do you source your food? For this, we have fish uh -huh. and we have apple, we have amala, we have so many things there. Okay. Do you get it from the market here? Yeah. Okay, so in case you're coming to this market and you need some food and you want to try out some food, you can buy it there. Can someone buy something and bring it? Yes, and yes, cook it for we'll them? cook it for them. So if I brought like grass cotter here, we'll yes, cook we would, it? Yes, we'll cook it and we'll do it very well. It's plantain. Uh -huh. They will fried it for uh -huh. selling. Uh -huh. And this uh -huh. rice okay. is very hot. And this fish is Tilapia. Yeah, this yeah, tilapia. This is the fish that yes. I'm used to tilapia. Yes. Uh -huh. And this tilapia fish, you uh, can cook it there. Oh, we can cook tilapia fish. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, no problem. There are three parts to this market. There is the part where they are selling the live animals there's a place where it is cooked and then there's a place where it has been prepared only for you to go and cook for yourself so right now we are going to explore the other part of the market well look at this fish it has teeth never seen a fish that has teeth look at that african tigress this place is actually where the market women assemble waiting for the boat that bring the fishes and other aquatic um animal here so, so like i told you the market women the market women assemble here as you can see these fishes in the basket are left here so that they don't die and then they cover them with another basket so the people that have actually gotten this fish will come later and pick it up so once the boat comes it just keeps all the fishes and every other thing it come it came with and then they buy it off and they now cover it in this basket as you can see these ones are owned by different people okay now we have a boat arriving and I can assure you, they have loads of aquatic, aquatic animals inside there. Fishes, tortoises, and all those things. You know, yes, see them. Yes, yes. Now, like I said, I'm here with the market women, and they are waiting for these fishes to arrive. The boat just arrived, and the women are coming out. They've gone to like fish, to hunt, and to do different stuff. Everything in this basket are aquatic animals. The boat is taking off because they are done offloading the goods they came with. Now after offloading it, the market women carries those goods and goes into the market to sell. And then people like us, we buy. So as you can see, this woman uh, preparing snails. Look at that. So that's how snails are prepared. And this is what it looks like when they are finally prepared. So guys, I believe we have seen and learned a lot today. It's been like, crazy. It's right. been a crazy experience. I know you were scared trying to touch, <laughs> yeah. touch the animals and all that. It's especially the... What's the name of that one? Alligator. The alligator. Yeah. Man. But not seen Even the pangolins too. The pangolins. They there's no snake in the market today. Yeah, they also have snake. The snake that people eat. But currently, there's none in the market for today. Or maybe we are tired to actually search. No, let me let me ask uh, anyone who knows. Where is that our mama? She's outside. She's so guys, we actually went back in there and asked one of the market women and they said that there is no snake today. Unfortunately for, unfortunately for us, we aren't showing you guys no snake today. But that's all good. We've seen a lot, I believe. And I'm glad you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out her channel. At Mira's World, guys. And behind the camera we had bet you grace yeah subscribe share and let me know what you think about this video would you try bush meat when you come to nigeria if so contact me <laughs> <laughs> and do you have bush meat in your country is it a popular dish in your country let us know and until next time bye bye, bye.